anyway oh with respect to the question that you had asked okay yeah. you saw that yeah. kashmir files and yeah. yes. the yes. behavior yes. of those militants how can we express accept them also as manifestations of ishara and how can god create or allow something like this okay remember one thing it is a myth to say that only the good is god's creation in fact it's all ishara's manifestation and some manifestation unlike others like a human manifestation have freedom of choice we are free to do not to do to do it in a hundred different ways why this freedom of choice is important because it is this freedom of choice that can lead to moksha because if there is no freedom of choice there is no real accountability can you blame a donkey for kicking you because you went behind a donkey a donkey doesn't have freedom of choice it fell like kicking it kicked that's it so but human beings have that freedom and that freedom is almost absolute that freedom of choice in a human being is so much that the choice can be abused it's only when that type of choice is given can you hold a person accountable karma karma phala can come in only then that there is to be accountability for accountability freedom has to be total remember this is a freedom given to adults not to children you can't deal with the 10 year old kid and give him absolute freedom and say oh, okay yes, he can do what he want no they require some guidance etc so similarly if freedom is total the way it has been given to human beings there has to be some guidance that guidance is the dharma shastra dharma is a guidance and this dharma has been manifest also in a human being the western religion the occidental religions call it as conscience but that's actually a manifestation of dharma you instinctively recognize what is right and wrong that's why children don't have to be told to speak the truth they are embarrassingly honest <laughs> yeah embarrassingly honest they can be now what happens is by a process if you are brainwashed thinking that adharma is dharma like see dharma is universal killing is wrong means killing is wrong universally then there are certain exceptions given to that rule this is how dharma will work there is a universal and there are exceptions and so you are brainwashed to believe that killing somebody who does not have your belief system is dharma you are brainwashed to believing that then an abuse of dharma takes place at a certain societal level killing a non believer is good is dharma for you this type of brainwashing when it goes on you will find human beings can do atrocious things it is not the fault of ishara <laughs> it is not the fault of the manifestation it is the fault of what is happening here because people are not using their viveka people are not using your instinctive recognition of what is right and wrong your instinctive recognition has been corrupted by your brainwashing this can happen it has happened before in history 
what did the nazis do the same thing the nazis did the same thing in germany with the jews what did the portuguese do in goa the same slogan that was said in kashmir was said 300 years ago in goa okay die convert or leave the same words were used in goa so throughout history there has been these type of condition people who has behaved wrongly and sometimes the condition goes so deep that there is no way to decondition them generally a person who has been conditioned to something if you work enough on that person some amount of deconditioning can be done in most cases but when it has happened against the large swaths of society again like many of the nazis even when they are they were see the jews one thing israel and the jews did was they went after the nazis each and every one of them they went after them even those who had escaped to argentina and places like that you know the southern world they went after them and there have been 90 year olds who have been put on trial a 90 year old nazi gentleman you will think 90 year old yaar chhod do but no remorse no this thing he still goes by his condition and education has got nothing to do with this let me tell you that the people who planted the bomb uh, sorry the people who planted the bombs and had the blast in the sri lankan churches they were all very educated people highly educated highly successful business people very successful but condition thinking that is why later in the gita you will find devasura sampattim what is asurim sampattim what is devim sampattim a human being has both in them so it is this freedom which is conditioned freedom of choice which is conditioned by certain amount of certain process that makes a human being be- behave like that yeah. so that, that doesn't prevent them from being manifestations of ishara yeah. the same thing if you can't accept that that's what you have to struggle to do, work upon to accept that these are also manifestations of ishara but these manifestations are a problem therefore they have to be dealt with with a rifle in hand with a revolver in hand with a pistol in hand <laughs> that's how you have to deal with them yeah different manifestation has to be dealt with differently isn't it how you deal with another human being how you will deal with a mosquito you know the same <laughs> how you will deal with a poisonous plant not the same <laughs> yeah. so you deal with things differently so similarly manifestation of ishara are not a problem how you deal with them you have to deal with them in the way that is the most appropriate in seeing that you nor the world will have a problem yeah so that's how it is so that is one question the other question referred to the verse that we were doing last time that is purushah sukha dukha nam bhoktrutve heturuchyate the 20th, 20th verse the second half sukha dukha is experienced by you by the individual the ahankara okay in other words your own sukshma sharira your own mind mind can experience sukha dukha only if the mind is sentient the sentiency of the mind is dependent upon the purusha the awareness if the awareness was not there your mind will not become sentient awareful it will not become 
therefore that awareful mind is the one that experiences sukha and dukha and that is possible only because the purusha is nothing but awareness number 1 number 2 if you are ananda you should be always experiencing ananda sukha you don't because of various process of thinking you deny the ananda for yourself first one is i am a finite being my self judgment my self judgment that i am a finite being born from ignorance about myself my true nature i make a self judgment i am a finite being i am not ananda i have to get ananda second judgment is there are certain things in the world which will give me ananda certain things which will not give me ananda the boy i like not his mother the young man gives me ananda his mother will not give me ananda <laughs> the conclusion yeah the conclusion you're forgetting ananda is your swarupa okay forgetting ananda is your swarupa you are making this judgment and when you get what you like the mental projection etc is removed the ananda that you are manifest itself in the mind because of your mental projections you deny that ananda you experience dukha you get the opposite dukha purusha is the basis because of which all this happens the mind works and makes yourself happy or unhappy but purusha is the underlying basis for the whole thing if that purusha was not there none of these is feasible therefore sukha dukha naam bhoktrutve purushaha karanam uchyate purusha hetu uchyate is a hetu the reason for it clear about this okay any other questions or shall we go ahead okay yeah okay then he goes further to describe our human life purushah prakritisto hi bhungte prakriti jan gunan karanam guna sangasya sada sad yoni janmasu the purushah which is what prakritistah <coughs> manifest in the prakriti okay the manifestation in some books you will call this as chida bhasa the appearance of the i in the mind awareness manifests in the mind now first thing is what there is ignorance in the mind therefore i don't know what i am that is gone self knowledge is gone not there self ignorance is very much there therefore bhungte prakriti jan gunan therefore the gunas of prakriti various per- permutations and combinations which will give me joy misery the, that whatever the whole world is nothing but permutations of sattva rajas tamas yeah. whole world is that only so bhungte i enjoy how do i enjoy that by doing something something na no? nothing drops into my lap <laughs> i have to work for it na no? <laughs> i do work to get it karma karma phalam that's how bhungte yeah even though and what is this thing that we call civilization making this bhoga easier i remember when i was a child a long years back okay long long ago let us say 60 years ago I wanted to eat bundi ladu. I had to catch my mom, and my mom has to make it from a scratch. Make the bundi, make the sugar syrup, exact consistency, etc. She'll take, uh, put the sugar and water, and keep on stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. Then examine three threads would come when you are <laughs> all that. 
So, even as a kid I thought, is it worth the effort? <laughs> and then she would make. So, now, now there is progress. If you want to eat bunti ladu, what do you have to do? Mobile phone, the look, swiggy, this, that, whatever. Swiggy, zomato or saroj or whatever. Order, ajayega. But even then you have to do something. No? You have to pick up that phone and make that order. No? And have the money to make that payment. No? Karma, karma phala. Bung te prakriti jan gunan. Through karma, karma phala, you enjoy it. Of course, certain things you don't have to enjoy it, pay to enjoy it. But you have to have the mind to enjoy it. Go for a walk in the evening, night time. Enjoy the moon. Ah. But still you have to step out of the house and go to an area where you get some unrestricted view of the sky. <laughs> therefore, bhungte prakriti jan gunan. And therefore, what happens? Karanam gunasangasya. Then, with certain gunas, you get sangaha attached to. This is nice. I want to repeat these experiences. This is, I don't want these experiences. I want to keep them away. Like that, there is Guna Sangaha. You see, I started with simple ignorance. I don't know what I am. Aham Agnyaha. Then naturally, you should know who you are. No. You come into all sorts of judgments. I am a finite being. This is the world. I'll enjoy with this. I'll... Therefore, Guna Sangaha. Sometimes Sangha with violence also. Why? Rajas is high in you, Tamas is high in you. Therefore, Sad Karanam Guna Sangasya and through that, Sad Asad Yoni Janmasu into birth into various forms. Sad Asad Yoni. Sad Yoni, higher Yoni that will take you towards Moksha or lower Yoni that will take you away from Moksha. Simple. The guy is being a womanizer. All he knows, he, he doesn't even require a person there. In fact, I know people like this. A pole wrapped in a script, uh, in a skirt, is enough for him to <laughs> to look like that. This is that type of a womanizer. The universal order and his kindness will think. Let him exhaust these tendencies. Let him be born as a rabbit next lifetime. <laughs> because rabbits breed the fastest and multiply the fastest, okay? Among all the mammals. <laughs> yeah. Well, let him be a rabbit. Let him exhaust all that. Chalo. Asad yoni janmasu. Or there is some refinement, etc. Sad yoni, human births, therefore, you can strive for moksha. Sad yoni janmasu. There is nothing good or bad in this, okay? There is only extreme. Extremes of Guna Sangaha. A human life has to be a little bit more disciplined, that's all. Remember, the freedom to desire is highest in a human being. Desire is your privilege. As I always say, a cow cannot get up in the morning and have a desire to eat a cutlet. You and I can have. Samaji, what cutlet, cutlet? Tomorrow is Sunday. Thora dal pakwan khane se maja aega. Ha? Dal pakwan khalo. <laughs> but cooking and all is a big problem. You take a stroll towards Sindhi camp at about 8 o'clock, you will get it. <laughs> Ask me, I will know all the places, okay? <laughs> How do you know all the places? I hear, I see. I go for a walk in different areas and say, Acha, ye chal raha hai idhar. Acha, theek hai. Note kiya. Without effort, all this gets noted inside. <laughs> so, you get... Yoni? Yeah? So, Yoni is a species, basically? Yoni is a womb. Literally, it means a womb. Meaning, Sad Asad Yoni Janmasu. 
into different wombs you are born. Mam that's why he is talking more of mammalian birth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because he's talking about people who have evolved enough to be able to pursue, start pursuing moksha. But just because you are evolved enough to pursue moksha doesn't mean you will get a lower life form next lifetime. Depends on the karma standing in your account and depends on how much you understood Vedanta today. <laughs> That's also there. If you understood Vedanta reasonably well, then chances are good next lifetime is also human being to continue the thread. But if that has not been there, then lower life forms also can be had. Because certain things have to be exhausted. Before that, you can't even think about it. You can't even think of moksha because the grip of certain things are so strong on your mind. You know, I have been watching this guy from birth. It's a young man whom I know. Young man, he must be around 50 now. Okay, I've been watching him since his birth. Okay. I know, not birth, I know him since he was about six months, six, seven months. Okay. And, been watching this guy. And, I knew potentially he was a great guy. Which he is. But he was born in a family where there was a certain amount of social deprivation, monetary deprivation. Because the father didn't believe too much in saving money or he was in his own trip. Mother was a school teacher, therefore family would run. But they had their own issues. Mother was not a great teacher anyway, I knew her well. And this, therefore this kid had a lot of unfulfilled desires. So when he started working, he went haywire. Even before he started working, he was going a bit haywire. And I am keeping track of this guy. Okay, When he goes too extreme somewhere, I would pull him back. But I wouldn't completely stop him because I knew he had to exhaust some of these things. Then a few years back, he got involved in Buddhism. And now in Vedanta, few months back, he has got involved in Vedanta and all. Why? Because now all those other things have been exhausted. His mind was too much in the grip of those things. He couldn't even think of anything like this. But now, those things have been, have been to an extent taken care of. And because they are to an extent he has been taken care of, he is, what do you call, free enough to explore higher things. The same thing happens in births also. Sometimes you need to exhaust certain things. Certain karmas have to be exhausted. Now, I am not talking about exhaustion of karma as, as a must for moksha. That will never happen. All your karmas will never be exhausted. But certain samskaras, etc., you have to give in to that play. That's what karma yoga is about, isn't it? You are fulfilling certain desires with Ishara, Arpanam, Prasada, Buddhi, etc. So you can grow out of it faster and come to that mindset that is necessary for Vedanta. Otherwise, your guna sangaha, attachment to things, etc., karma, karma phala, will be the karanam for punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. <laughs> it will be the karanam for that. Okay. So, what does Ishwara do in the whole thing? God's job is not to eliminate all the terrorists. <laughs> yeah. Why do you have the armed forces? <laughs> it's for that. <laughs> God doesn't have to come and do it. Yes, God will come into the picture when it becomes too much for us to do it. Good time is clear. Tenth avatara is a long time off. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The last avatara was a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, the last avatara was 5,000 uh, and odd years ago, Krishna. Mm -hmm. okay. Though some people put Buddha also as an avatara, TK, TK, Renidu. Yeah, we'll accept, what is the problem? Chalo. And the next avatara has a long time to go. <laughs> okay. Therefore, what is Ishwara's function in this? Upadrashta Anumantacha. Bharta Bhokta Maheshwara 
परमात्मे शिशाप्युक्त देहेस्मिन पुरुष परा संपूर्ण दिस इज वॉट ईश्वरा ई सी सी उपदृष्ट इट इज द वन दैट इज अवेर ऑफ एव्रीथिंग साइमलटेनियस अनुमंता च इट डज नॉट प्रिवेंट एनीथिंग फ्रॉम हैपनिंग दैट इज नॉट द जॉब एज फार एज कॉन्शियसनेस इज कंसर्नड देर इज नथिंग अदर देन एट वॉट इज इट दैट्स हैपनिंग और नॉट हैपनिंग नथिंग अनुमंता च भर्ता भोक्ता महेश्वर भर्ता द वन दैट सस्टेन्स एवरीथिंग भर्ता द वन दैट सस्टेन्स if you slightly misunderstand this word you will get the indian husband he takes upon himself to be the provider <laughs> and nothing else that is where the problem is provider is a good role <coughs> don't limit yourself to that <laughs> bhokta bhokta in the sense <coughs> the basis for all bhoga maheshwara The same consciousness is the Maheshwara. Paramatma iti chap yukta hai. It's also called the Paramatma. Okay, it's also called Paramatma. And where is he? Okay, I want to have Ishara darshanam. How is that possible? Easy. Dehe smin purusha paraha. That absolute purusha, that purusha that transcends time and space, is available in you as I. अस्मिन् देहे पुरुषः परः अस्मिन् देहे इज अ पुरुषः पुरा उषति इति हि द परः दैट इज देश काल अनविच्छिन्न नॉट कंडीशन बाय टाइम एंड स्पेस दैट इज अवेलेबल इन यू एज व्हाट द आई एज अ पुरुषः इन दिस पुरः इन दिस सिटी कॉल्ड द बॉडी उषति वसति उषति मीनिंग वसति ही इज सिटिंग राइट देयर देखो ईश दर्शन आत्मत ईश दर्शन आत्मत दट ओनली दर्शन दट इज रियली वैलिड ओके दट ओनली दर्शन दट इज रियली वैलिड ईश दर्शन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द सर रियली बट अच्छा ठीक है अंडरस्टूड आई एम कॉन्शियसनेस एक्सेट्रा वो डू ए गेट आउट ऑफ इट Does it really make a difference in my life? Will I become rich? Will I become famous? Most likely not. <laughs> you can become rich and famous only if you start your own religion or start your own cult. Then you will be. <laughs> yeah, start your own religion or your own cult. Then you can be. <laughs> but if you say I am a traditional teacher, contemporary but traditional, and you are carrying the parampara forward, okay, ठीक है. गुजारा हो जाएगा कंफर्टेबली दैट विल दैट मच कैन बी नथिंग मोर देन दैट ओके दैट आल्सो डिपेंड ऑन योर पून योर ओन कर्मा या पास कर्मा ओके व्हाई बिकॉज यू आर नॉट इंग फ्रेश कर्मा सो यू आर बीइंग सस्टेन बाय योर पास कर्मा ओके या सो व्हाट डू यू गेट आउट ऑफ इट हियर ये एवं वेति पुरुषम प्रकृतिम च गुणै सह सर्वता वर्तमानोपि न स भूयो अभिजाते एवं वेति पुषम दट पर पुषा इफ यू मेन यू इफ यू नो एज योर सेल्फ दट पर पुषा इफ यू नो एज योर सेल्फ इन दैट मैनर इफ यू नो प्रकृति च गुण सह एंड यू नो वॉट इज द प्रकृति गुण बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द होल मैनिफेस्टेशन दिस दैट एक्सेट्रा इफ यू नो ऑल दैट ऑल राइट सर्वता वर्तमानोपी न स भूय अभिजाते सर्वता वर्तमानोपी इन वॉट ओवर मैनर इज लिविंग द गई इज लिविंग न भूय अभिजाते इज नॉट बॉर्न अगेन इज नॉट बॉर्न अगेन इज इज यू आर फ्री फ्रॉम द सर्कल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ उपलक्षण फॉर मोक्षा उपलक्षण फॉर मोक्षा ओके दैट इज उपलक्षण दैट इफ यू डू दिस यू आर फ्री फ्रॉम बर्थ एंड डेथ फ्रीडम फ्रॉम बर्थ एंड डेथ 
is an indication that you have used it's a for freedom from your human limitation as moksha because why birth and death is used as upalakshana because you are helpless in front of it na however much the new ages want to see i chose my birth yeah you chose your birth you chose to be deliberately poor you chose to be deliberately getting into problems you del- chose deliberately to be born and get diabetes by the time you are 40 will you choose a birth like that do you choose to be only 5 feet tall come on kisse kisko bluff mar raha hai nobody chooses deliberately all these things yatha karma you don't have a choice about it your birth you don't have a choice half the educated indians given a choice they will be in states no not all of them half of them <laughs> that's the only time they will talk about i'm universal etc etc you know you can't be limited by patriotism why because you want to be an american there is an or kuch nahi hai reva de yeah and you hear of american citizen becoming indians and being hindus on top of it and you will wonder ye kya pagal ban gaya kya american citizen shall <laughs> no one chooses these type of things okay before birth you don't choose death how many of us say i want to die and i'm i want to and choose death there are people who are dying you want to live for another few months you know they are the people who will take part in all these experimentation we have new drugs available up to as of now The, the promise is to extend your life only by 3 months doesn't matter i'll try it ye 3 mahina mein 3 mahina mein kya karega i know i was part of the committee that used to pass all these drug trials i'll say doesn't matter try it out i was the first one to say it's okay as long as there is no harm being done to the people their side effects are not harmful fine why Three months is enough to get all his papers and all in order, no? He knows. Three months, I am. I am. All is going to go. Keep everything in order. Fine, do it. But to the people who are receiving the drug, they are not keeping in order. People in order, or they don't want to die yet. <laughs> they are not prepared to go. And there are people who want to go. My mother would always ask me, "Why is the Lord not taking me?" And I don't. What will I tell her now? Pure Vedanta, what will she say? I would say, "Go, ask the Lord. <laughs> ask the Lord." <laughs> in your prayers ask the lord why is he not taking you aur kya puchega so birth and death there is a certain helplessness in front of it not your choice not your choice therefore that becomes upalakshana for bondage for samsara therefore what he says is in whatever manner of life you are leading you are free yogarato va bhogarato va living a life of yoga discipline etc or bhoga sangarato va sanga vihina reveling in company or all alone by yourself loner yasya brahmati brahmani ramate chittam nandati 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 eva if your mind is reveling in brahman then you are enjoying whatever you are doing that the idea the idea is that your ananda your experiences will depend upon your prarabdha experiences will depend upon prarabdha but if you are ananda it doesn't matter if you are ananda what does it matter what your experiences are so ananda can go through great experiences ananda can go through miserable experiences you are ananda so if you are ananda what is the problem no problems <laughs> okay the bo न स भूय अभिजाते दट अभि न अभिजाते एक्सेट्रा इज मेन्ट फॉर दैट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वर्स वन हेज टू बी केयरफुल इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल राइट हाउ डू यू गेन द सेल्फ 
he seems to be as though making it open to choice as though not really dhyane natmani pashyanti keshad atmanam atmana anye sankhena yogena karma yogena chapara okay all right these are the people who will gain the knowledge he gives some indications of it okay not detail not everything okay what is that dhyanena atmani pashyanti dhyanena contemplate on the self sir then pehla is khali meditation sikhane ka tha na ye sab 13 chapters you have been ragadaving us through with all these sanskrit terminology this that seedha meditation sikhane ka tha pehla hi <laughs> because unless you know what are you going to contemplate upon but if you if you know it you don't need to contemplate upon see if you don't know you can't contemplate upon it therefore you need to learn and if you know the self you don't have to contemplate upon it because you know then why is he saying dhyane na pashyanti keje atmana atmanam because human beings have a problem what is that in spite of learning it doesn't become a fact of their life therefore they will come up with strange theories samjhi i know the self but i have not experienced it are you are experiencing me you are self all the time i self evident all the time you are in i then what is the problem the problem is that i am ananda is not a fact of your day to day life that's all so to make it a, to own up that knowledge as gurudev used to say swami chinmayan ji used to say what has gone in through the ears must sink to the heart otherwise it leak through the mouth <laughs> so for that sake owning it up dhyanena then others may have to focus on various aspects so most of us once you have a good grasp over vedanta keep listening to vedanta and keep spending some time on contemplation every day nididhyasanam i taught that in camps i taught that in the classes all that i have taught therefore dhyanena along with the study contemplation so you make it your own anye others sankhena they may require more learning sankhya sankhya here is used in the sense of samya khyati proper understanding they may have to work on their understanding sankhena some may have to work on yogena work on yoga mastering their minds their minds are running haywire they have some spiritual knowledge of the mind is haywire therefore tune in the mind yogena here yoga can be anything okay including ashtanga yoga etc all right or karma yogena cha pare they still have desires to be fulfilled etc therefore karma yogena cha pare live a life of karma yoga take care of your priorities etc then the knowledge that you have that you are learning will blossom forth inside you therefore all these are support to the learning dhyanam is support to the learning more learning is support to the learning sankhya yoga mastery of the mind is support to the learning lifestyle of karma yoga support to the learning lifestyle of sanyasa support to the learning the first the first sankhya sankhena can refer to a life of sanyasa also remember four chapter yat sankhe prapyate sthanam tad yogen api gamyate they had presented two lifestyles ज्ञान योगेन सांख्या कर्म योगेन योगी नाम टू लाइफ स्टाइल इधर फॉर सांख्या कैन बी ऑल्सो टेकन एस सन्यासा लाइफ स्टाइल वॉट एवर यू नीड डू इट यू नो वेन स्वामी चिन्मैन जी वेंट टू शिवानंद आश्रम ही हेड नॉट डन अ लॉट ऑफ लर्निंग ओके बट ही न्यू वॉट इट वॉज मेंट फॉर द होल विशन ही एड द ओवर वर्ल्ड विशन ऑफ थिंग्स ही वेंट टू स्वामी चिन्मैन जी एंड आई मीन टू स्वामी शिवानंद एंड सर 
Swami Ji, please give me sannyasa. He says, why you have just come, you have to still learn anything now. Swami Ji, if I don't take sannyasa now, there is too many things in the society calling me back. <laughs> there are literally too many things also, you know. <laughs> yeah. Too many things calling me back. Therefore, if I take sannyasa, I will cut off from all that, it will be fine. And Swami Shivananda gave it to him. <laughs> and he made it work. <laughs> he made it work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is called Vividisha Sanyasa. Vaita Michava, the desire from the desire for knowledge, you take sannyasa. Or after gaining the knowledge, etc., for your nishta's sake, you take sannyasa. So that you are not distracted by other things. Your nishta is in this knowledge. Or after a certain amount of nishta, as a confirmation, you take it. Your people know. Here is the person you can go and learn with. And there is no rule when to take it up, okay? okay. Only guidelines. Okay. Sankhyena, yogena, karma yogena, whatever you need. All this will help. Sarvam to akhilam karma, jnane parisamapyate. We have seen that, we have seen that before. All karma finally has to end in knowledge. Why? Karma matures you out. Yeah. Somebody has raised their hand. Bina, you want to ask a question or something? Okay. One hand was raised. I saw a raised hand in this thing. Okay. So, that is it. You do what it takes to get your mind ready and own up this knowledge. Yeah. One guy gave another advice. I said, go get married. I actually told him, go get married. You need that in your life. You need that in your life to grow enough to gain the knowledge. I had told him that as a student. He refused to believe it. He said, hey, what, you think only you are meant for this life? Oh, I am also meant for this life. I said, okay, hey, champion, do it. Guruji, talk with Guruji. That time we were all part of Chinmaya Mission. We had not yet left the organization. So after my time in Sandeepani, I went off to Rishikesh. Unko fakkar banne ka barabar. My goal was clear. I knew what I had to do for myself. So I went. With the blessings of my Guru, of course. This guy was posted to a town, a smaller town, to teach. And now where will you stay? You have to stay with someone or the other or somebody has to give you a place to stay or something has to, or you must have a, your own place to stay and teach. Something. So this guy there, there was an industrious, industrialist family known to Puja Swamiji who said, I will take care of the young man. Let him stay with me. I have a big house. This is a small town, so big houses. There are no problems. He can stay with me. He can have food with the family and everything. And he can go around teach. One class he can take in my house. I have a big hall. He can start from there. Good. Great combo. Great chance. We went. So after one year or so, I am in Rishikesh. Swami Anandji also has come to Rishikesh to spend a few days there. This man lands up there with a charming young lady and this industrialist. There is the industrialist eldest daughter. They have fallen in love and they want to get married. <laughs> and the industrialist is quite happy. He says, I don't have a son. I am getting a son. He doesn't have anybody anyway. I am getting a son. He can continue with his teaching and all. And at the same time, he can start exploring and taking part and taking over my business. So that by the time I am willing to retire, he has somebody to take over the business. Great option. Many of the young men here was thinking, I don't have any chance, it would be very good. Then he tells me. So I said, champ, what happened? Hey, what you said was correct only. <laughs> what you said? I said, yeah, what you said was correct. Because what you need to grow, you need to grow. That is it. There is nothing 
this is the right thing that is the right thing whatever you need to grow is the right thing कौन कहते हैं मस्जिद में गिर जा को कहते हैं मंदिर में यहाँ गिर जा वहाँ गिर जा अरे खुदा कहाँ है वही गिर जा <laughs> तो वो जैसे कवाल ही लिख दैट ओके हुए संगे डेट नॉल डोंट आज मी आई डोंट नो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू आज श्रावोनी श्रावोनी इज गिविंग अ प्रोग्राम इन पूना राइट नाउ दैट्स वाई शी इज नॉट इयर सिक्स ओ क्लॉक का प्रोग्राम है स्टार्टेड ओके सो दर इज यू डू वॉट इट टेक्स टू ग्रो वॉट एवर इट टेक्स टू ग्रो डू इट या वॉट एवर हेल्प्स यू ग्रो इज द राइट थिंग फॉर यू कीप द स्टडी गोइंग कीप द स्टडी गोइंग बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली दैट इज वॉट दैट ब्लेस द ब्लेस यू द नॉलेज इज वॉट विल ब्लेस यू so for the sake keep the knowledge going keep growing in your life that's it yeah. and one fine day you'll learn hey it's all clear baba the all the struggle everything is gone kidhar hai bhav sagar sab sukh gaya hai fikr nahi ab taran na ki mera what bhav sagar crossing etc there is no bhav sagar it's all gone <laughs> yeah that's how it is okay what about the others others here anye tu evam ajanantah shrutva anye bhi upasate te picha atirantatveva mrutyam shruti parayana very nice this thing now there may be some people who are not into the formal learning process but he says evam ajanantah they don't know about lifestyle they don't know elaborately about anything but shrutva anye bhavya upasate they heard only very little they are not done the all the gita the upanishad etc they have not done thoda suna idhar udhar enough they have heard then upasate they work on that they contemplate upon that they think about that and make it work te pi ati taranti eva they also will cross over he says mrutti shruti parayana because they are also shruti parayana the pramana has been there with them not very elaborately but it has been there with them and they are working on it they are working on it they may not be able to teach it or communicate it to others but for themselves they will they will get it he says in other words what come to the shruti there is great hope for you come to the shruti there is great hope you know i have also seen people saying i studied so much but i can't share it with people then what is the point in all the studies you are studying for yourself sharing comes later you know when we are in chinmaya mission there was one thing the moment you finish a course you are supposed to go and start taking classes whether you are ready or not because there is an organization the organization policies were like that so i said i have missed 6 months of the course therefore i want to catch up that i am going to rishikesh to study but uh, according to our rules and all that is not permitted we can't support either i don't want your support how will you live there i'll take care of it i knew what it meant to be living in rishikesh i knew that how what it what it takes to be a sadhu i knew that i said don't worry i'll take care of it okay keep in touch with us and when you're ready to come back we'll like you to come back and teach i said dekha jayega dekha jayega i have to get it for myself first therefore after some years of studying my teacher called me by that time we all had left the organization my teacher called me there what are your plans i samjhi no plan my plans began and ended with this knowledge 
I said, fine, Swamiji. He said, okay, I want you to teach. Say, yes, Swamiji, right now. In fact, these boys are waiting to ask you whether they can learn Vedanta Paribhasha and all these higher texts. They don't want to go into some local teachers and learn. They want to learn it from me. If you are okay, I will teach them. Ah, yes, very good, start. That's how I started teaching. With some of the most complicated texts. <laughs> If this class has to be ready for Vedanta Paribhasha, you have to do all the Upanishads and the Chatu Sutri or Brahma Sutra is only after that. So that complicated text I started. Yeah. Then he another question he asked me. What about the robes? I said, right now, Swamiji, if you want me to take the robes, abhi abhi. Right now, without a doubt, I will take it. Then he thought for a minute. You had committed to your father, you will do his last right. No, he said, yeah. After that, okay, after that. Yeah. Then after two years, he said, I want you to go into the city and teach. I said, fine. I said, fine. But uh, I'm not in a position to be able to support you or anything like that. Don't worry. I came to you for knowledge and nothing but knowledge. Other things I'll take care of. Ho <laughs> You do what it requires. You do what is necessary. Yeah. The Lord will provide what you need. And if you don't get it, you don't need it. <laughs> Simple as that. That is sadhu thinking, okay? The Lord will give you whatever you need. And if you don't get something, it means it's not needed. You learn to do without it. If that mindset you have, sadhu life is easy, it is fun, it is great. Okay, therefore, for yourself, if you are living like this, even if you don't have too much of exposure to formal learning, with this mindset, if you are living, you will get it for yourself. To be able to share it with people, etc., you need to go through it systematically to become a teacher. And it is necessary to keep the parampara going. That's why we are thinking of putting up an ashram near Bombay, etc. A couple of places have been identified, we are going through the due process, etc. Once that is there, we'll let you all know. Then we'll need your help. <laughs> we'll need your help for all the fundraising and things. Not money from your pockets. That's easy to give. But I won't help in fundraising. Because this project will take some, will cost something. Running will cost something. So, those type of things. Okay. Why? Future teachers. My crea teacher created 250 of them. 250, 300 teachers. If everyone teaches, Creates at least 10, 20 teachers, good teachers, for which you need 50, 60 people to teach to. Only then you will get 10, 20 good teachers. Then, parampara goes forward. Then things will stop with Kashmir files. They don't go further, okay? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so, for that little bit more dynamism has to come in. If I have a full time, if I have an ashram set up, I will ensure that also happens. <laughs> yeah. I'll ensure that also happens. Yeah. Things to teach and how to get it done, both are in there. <laughs> yeah. Set up you require. <laughs> okay. Therefore, all right. Okay. All right. All right, therefore, he is concluding this session. Oh, it's already 6.35. Okay, 6.35. <clears throat> so, good place to stop. Any questions, clarifications? If you have, ask. <laughs> or things are clear. Okay, yeah. Remember the most important thing, get this knowledge for yourself. Once you have it for yourself, then you can choose whether you want to share it with people, or teach, or become an alpha male, alpha female, beta female, beta male, sigma male, sigma male, whatever in terms of your lifestyle I am talking about. All these are lifestyle oriented. Choose what you want to be. Live in that freedom. Your life can be an inspiration for others. Yeah. Life can be an inspiration. Yeah. I have known people like that who are not teachers, but their life itself is an inspiration. 
they are living in that freedom you can make out on them yeah. or you can be a teacher yeah. those of you have some ideas of being a teacher etc start picking up sanskrit then i help you all refine the process in the ashram yeah. start picking up sanskrit then you may not have to do the whole three months course because you have been with me for some time three year course you don't have to do i'll help you refine the process in a few months time then teach yeah. those of you have the mindset for that or are happy doing something like that yeah. so all that but get it for yourself first that's important if you don't get it for yourself remember swami chinman you always but has gone in through the years it sink to the heart or will leak from the mouth no we prevent leakages <laughs> no leakages <laughs> what comes out of the mouth should be deliberate even if it looks funny and stories and things like that deliberate <laughs> yeah okay so think it over good place to stop om tat sat hope you all had a great holy and fun i'll see you all next week yep yeah Thank you so much. Take care. Oh. <laughs> Have a great time. Night is still young.